go out to dinner, probably get a big bouquet of flowers, um, try to find a card that is going to exemplify everything that I appreciate about her. For Mother's Day, um, my fiance's family is flying in from Guatemala and he hasn't seen his parents in 10 years. So his mother's flying in on Mother's Day. So it's going to be a great, that, you know, that's the Mother's Day gift I want for, for not just me, but um, for Michaela and him. I'm sure we'll do a, uh, myself and my two boys will prepare a nice meal for mom, at least. <laughs> Peace and good behavior from all four. <laughs> no fighting. I don't think they understand to extend that they would, you know, really t sit and talk to me. Mom, I appreciate your work so much. But, um, you know, when I come home late, they just tell me how much they miss me and it means the world to me. More love, <laughs> more time for them, for me. I just had a birthday, actually, and my son, my three-year-old, got me flowers. Like, it was his idea, and he went and he picked them out um, with my husband and got me flowers, and it was just a really sweet gesture. Um, so, yeah, anything that they put thought into, it could, you know, be a painted rock. It doesn't matter as long as it's something meaningful for them. When they make something, and I know it's something they're very proud of, that means more to me than any item, any materialistic item they can buy for me. So. I, I really appreciate that because I feel like it's definitely like it's very rare now to ha get a homemade gift. <laughs> Honestly, just it's small things. I think just a hug. I mean, the excitement that's on their face when I walk in the door at night and everybody's yelling, mommy, 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 it really is priceless. <laughs>